Salam alaikum alaikum salam. <laughs> One sister, she emailed me the other day. No, actually she left a comment and I'm gonna be showing you the comment in a second. So this is the comment. She said that, uh, can you comment on this uh, issue? They are now putting only Muslim, okay, in Medina. That, sorry, uh, they are not putting only Muslim. They, this was only Muslim sign before, but now it said that the signboard was changed and now they are saying that anyone, not only just Muslim, but uh, any non-Muslim can enter into Medina. This is the sign, okay, as you can see, to Haram area, Medina Haram area. But before it was different, before it was Al Medina Muslim only. So uh, she uh, sent me this uh, email, um, comment, she asked me to make a, make a comment, she said that brother, there was Muslim only sign before, now there is no Muslim only sign, in fact you can just enter whoever you are. So this is happening, What uh, can you make a commentary? Uh, dear brothers and sisters, I made a video before <clears throat> showing how statues are being worshipped in Medina. So this is not something new, uh, they have... Uh, Con concert they have uh, movies music a uh, lot of other things happening right now in Saudi Arabia uh, Medina you can enter into Medina even if you're not Muslim uh, before you you had to be a Muslim the, the reason for that that was given from the Saudi government is because they are saying this is part of the MBS Muhammad bin Salman his 2030 vision okay 2030 vision if you remember uh, he has planned for the country where you will be able to uh, go there, live freely, you know, even drink uh, uh, khamar. You can do a lot of things that you could not. Now you can actually go to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia and have uh, a girlfriend or boyfriend and stay in the same hotel room. Before I think you had to show that you are married, but now you do not have to do that. So these are all happening part of the 2030 vision. And uh, looks like a lot of the people they are okay with this, especially the foreigners. At the same time, you have some other people who are saying that, well, look at, wait a second, this is not something, uh, you know, right. Some other people saying that it is not a big deal. Why you are making a big deal out of it? People can enter into Medina. You know, is there a hadith about this that uh, people cannot enter Medina? They are asking question. Some other people are saying that we need uh, to invite people. So in fact, they are saying that in fact, this is a good way to give dawah to the non-Muslim. I want to show you this so that you can see uh, Medina. So this is a drive in Medina. People are driving there. So a lot of people are asking a lot of different questions uh, and they're raising doubts. They're asking, is it something wrong? Is it something okay? Uh, so I'm going to be sharing with you something very, very uh, interesting because dear brothers and sisters, it is very important for all of us to know what is going on. There is a hadith, a this is a uh, Sahih hadith. Uh, Sunan al-Tirmidhi reported it uh, by, narrated by Atoban. Rasulullah said, La ta'kum sa'ata hatta talhaqa kabailu min ummati bil mushrik wa hatta ya'budu awsana. Okay, the hadith is very, very clear. Rasulullah said that the hour will not establish until a, a, a group, a kabail from my ummah will worship the idols and, sorry, they will join the bil mushrik. They, jo they will join the mushrik and the hour will not establish until they worship idols. Whatever we are seeing right now, yes, idol worship is not happening right now. Uh, but here is the big news. Okay, this is really the news I wanted to share with you. Okay, not only that they are removing this sign, Muslim only, but do you know what else is happening? Do you know what else is happening? Wallahi, they are following the hadith, every single bit of it. The reason they are removing this sign is because number one, they want to invite non-Muslim uh, into the city to take a look. But at the same time, not only that they're removing the Muslim uh, only signboard, but they are also introducing introducing Ramayan Mahabharat. What is Ramayan Mahabharat? The Hindu scripture. Hindu scripture. They are introducing these uh, scriptures into their curriculum means students are now going to be able to read other other religion like a hindu the mush the uh, mushrik mushrikun uh, religion they are now able to study there okay uh, hinduism so this is uh, a, a big 
big thing a lot of people uh, would not be happy with this if, if this is true i do not know if this is true but i found this source that i want to share with you uh, in this source as you can see um, that they are now actually uh, making uh, this part of the vision 2030 of mbs and uh, not only that they are also the uh, they are also modernizing the um, the country and his students will be taught Ramayan and Mahabharat. You see that, right? Ramayan and Mahabharat. So if you are in Saudi Arabia now, uh, yoga, yoga and Ayurveda. So these are like uh, rituals, Hindu culture. Uh, these are very significant. Globally, they have like a, a billion dollar in a billion dollar uh, industry. They want to do this also in Saudi Arabia. So they are going to be including okay, some of these cultural practices in so the school as part of the exposure of students to other cultural practices the english language has also become mandatory in schools under uh, vision 2030 so there are a lot of uh, new things are happening but i think what is uh, standing out among all of this is the fact that now you can study the religion of the mushrik you can really study uh, hinduism you can uh, you have to actually uh, study english now which is good english is studying english is good nothing has to nothing to do with religion however when it comes to studying rama and mahabharat uh, it is directly directly linked with the hadith where rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said uh, this is directly related uh, i mean if you if you are naive then only you will think well look this is not a big deal brother you know why you are blowing it out of proportion like why you're making so you know, such a big fuzz uh, and we have to do with this because if we do not then things will just spine uh, spin out of control now another thing i want to mention about the uh, the signboard in medina which is also very very significant is that these things are happening without us knowing anything about okay these things are not happening with the in other words with the consent of the muslims the muslims are completely unaware medina mecca if you bring any changes in in these two cities you must consult with the scholars you must talk to the muslim ummah you must make this open you must let everybody know what is happening why because these two cities are relevant to all the muslims we don't care about Saudi Arabia in general, but when it comes to these two cities and also Baitul Maqdis, uh, Jerusalem, Al Quds, we must know what is happening. We know, dear sisters, at the same time that they have normalized ties with the Yahudi. Uh, I mean, Saudi Arabia oh, outwardly they are saying no, we did not. But I mean, in the back of the you know scene, we will see that a lot of business dealings are happening because, okay. If you want to pr make your country prosper, the reason UAE, okay, they went to into this uh, normalization of relationship with the Yahudi is because of money. Because of money, Allah Zawajal mentioned that uh, that you are indeed violently in love with, with money. Okay, Allah Zawajal mentioned in the Quran the nature of human being that you indeed love your wealth violently so uae is get, getting into this relationship because of money saudi arabia has no choice okay i'm telling you so the saudi arabia will have no choice but to normalize ties with the yahudi today or tomorrow it might come a little bit later the announcement will come a little bit later but they already did it you know you can in fact the yahudi israeli plane can use saudi airspace Okay, I don't know if you know this, but Saudi Arabia has opened their, you know, sky for the Yahudi plane to come in. So in other words, they are not saying it outwardly, but it will, it is already happening behind closed doors that they are doing a lot of business deals. There is nothing called Saudi Arabia. There is nothing called, uh, you know, Israel. These are all the same. Okay, these are all part of the same system that would just crush anything on its way. You and I stand no chance. Okay, we we are just completely tied up. So, dear brothers and sisters, uh, the reason I, we need to talk about these topics is because these are very tested. These are not exposed. These are not being mentioned to anybody outside the country. Maybe outside even uh, 
uh, the CD. But if we keep talking about it, then it will create awareness and maybe we'll be able to let everybody know that, hey, look, this is not the right thing to do. Uh, we need to do something. We need to talk about it, uh, uh, you know, before it gets too late. If you have more questions like this sister, she sent me this comment. Uh, she's asking me to make comments. If you have comments, if you, have, if you want me to make a video on anything uh, like this sister, Sarah, please feel free to let me know. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, inshallah, because we talk a lot about the end of time issues. I will see you soon again. Assalamu alaikum wa